everyone. It is my car. The car I'm in doesn't show me the time. It is 8.45 on a Tuesday morning and I'm about to get a coffee and start um, my, my work for the day. I started um, looking after dogs um, from the Rover app for just a little bit of extra money, a little bit of extra dog cuddles and it's you know, you kind of make your own schedule, so that's really nice. Uh, I kind of started this video because I have some news. I got a van, and before I ever even thought about getting a piece of land or building on land, I wanted to travel around the U.S. and look for different vegan cafes and go visit a bunch of national parks and camp so this kind of was a random decision I guess because I haven't really I've been thinking about van life of course I've been you know living vicariously through people on YouTube that are traveling around the world traveling around the US um, or other places they are in their campers in their vans um, so it's been a dream of mine for for years now I, I guess I'd say 2018 is when I really started researching and figuring out like a water filtration system or like how you really do this, what are the difficulties of, of being nomadic and traveling on the road. Once I started um, saving money and I, and I actually like saved up like 10, 12 grand to get a van and to have a little bit of money for the beginning travels, something happened and it just didn't work out. I I kind of stopped working and started, I guess it's still working, but I started my own business and we decided to travel to Bali. Just all these things happened and then I just put van life, um, nomad life to the side and didn't forget about it. I really hope I wasn't just covering the mic. <laughs> I haven't made a video in a while. Um, but yeah, I have a van and this is a mess right now, but hey, it's reality. Um, I put down some yoga mats and some blankets and rugs because there are still, there are still like metal pieces exposed from the chairs that used to be here uh, and that is not comfortable we have a dog and a cat and he's the dog is kind of like slippy slidey he 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 trips himself up a lot and I don't want him to get hurt back here so we're just trying to keep it a little safe and also com more comfortable but just about a week ago, a little over a week ago, maybe almost, yeah, the van overheated. And there were a couple of ideas of like what was wrong with it, but at first I was like, okay, this is fine, this is fine, stay calm, uh, you know, it's gonna be all right, it's gonna be money, but everything is money life costs money so it's gonna be okay then I started to freak out because a little some a little comment was stated that it might be the head gasket and that's that was very stressful but it ended up being the water pump the thermostat and then I we had to replace the the upper and lower hose for the radiator I'm not a mechanic, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And then we had to replace a couple more things. The 
the shop wanted $600, but the man, Don, shout out to Don, because he was like, you guys should not be paying this much, you know, um, I'll do it on a weekend where I'm free, so he asked for, you know, much less money, and we bought the parts, and then he did the work, and it took a lot longer than he thought, but, uh, yeah. So now that the van is fixed and up and running again, I'm starting to get a little excited about the possibilities, the travel that we can have in here. I'm just not sure if we should wait until we fully build out back here. If you can imagine, um, over here in the back, I guess my first idea was to have like two couches so that we could have a table in the middle so that if we needed to work, um, Chase is getting like a, a job where he can, you know, work and travel, just kind of be able to work from home remotely. So it would be really nice to have like a couch situation so that we can work in the middle and have like a little table, but we could also just figure it out, go with it, see if we could do without. Because I think it it might be better or easier or more attainable, <clears throat> less intimidating, I don't know, to just build a simple little bed back here. And Chase is tall. He's like six feet. I'm only like five two, so we're gonna need to figure out how to make a bed that's comfortable. He's pretty easy going, so I think we could make a bed that's a little smaller and then have like saying, I'm saying like an um a lot, so thanks for bearing with me, but we could have a an extension um, off of the end of the bed that's kind of like a little ottoman or something like that instead of making the entire bed super long because it would also be really nice to have behind me, it'd be really nice to have something here that is a cabinet, some storage, somewhere where we can prep veggies, prep food. Yeah. So I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on right now. Willows is still in the works. Last summer we really weren't out there very much because there's no running water, it's very hot. We don't have any type of, I mean, we have the shade of the trees to stay cool. Sometimes that is not enough. So during the summer, we don't go to the property very much and do a lot of work, but fall is coming and we have this van. So I'm sure that we'll be out there clearing a little bit more, prepping a little bit more, but you might be seeing more of us here in the van traveling around and visiting parks and giving you guys little hints to all the vegan places all around the the country so i hope that that would be interesting for you all um i'm so excited i have been you know kind of itching to leave my 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 hometown this area i've learned to love it you know i've learned to embrace timing divine timing just allowing everything to happen in its in its own time not trying to rush things that's what the past couple years have have really taught me is you can want something really bad but if it's not the right time it's not going to happen for you and I've had to fully accept that and just be okay with it. So, yes, we got this van from a beautiful, beautiful woman named Andy, and she lived in it for a little while and then kind of had some other things going on and decided that she was going to be more... Um, local in this area and just kind of stay here and and further her career 
So it was perfect timing. I didn't really expect myself to be doing van life right now, but happy surprise. I am so ready to see what adventures this this van brings. Her name is Moksha, M-O-K-S-H-A, and it means freedom in Sanskrit, and I think that's so perfect. Andy um, named her, and I was like, I'm gonna keep that name, because that's exactly what I feel this van will bring. I'm ready for the struggles and the challenge of traveling and breaking down in the middle of nowhere where you have no me friend mechanics that are going to drop the price. Um, trying to figure out how to make money on the road. You know, I have many gifts. I have many offerings to, to provide to people. And who knows if it's going to work out on the road. So join us for our adventure of traveling and figuring this shit out. <laughs> but thank you so much for clicking on this video and being interested in what I have going on. I will keep you guys updated and try to post more frequently. I'm thinking of posting maybe once a week or twice a month on what's going on, even if it's not super exciting, just letting you guys know what, what what, what we are doing, what we have going on. So if you're interested in that, maybe I'll be posting more frequently. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day, rest of your week. I hope that life is giving you many blessings. Even if it seems like a challenge and some bullshit right in front of you, it might be a hidden blessing. So. Yeah. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.